Hi there, it's a beautiful day to be happy. My name is Mr. Tommy and welcome to SCP Showcase. Now, this is a showcase where there are two sessions running at the same time. The first one is going to be our live Facebook showcase and the second is this one, the one that's recorded and posted onto our YouTube channel. <clears throat> if you would like to know more, you can follow our Facebook page with eBright Public Speaking. And if you would like to watch more videos, please click on our channel and see more. All right, without further ado, since we are on our SCP showcase, let us start with our first contestant. Our first contestant is here. So I would like to invite onto the stage Wajiha. Hello. Hi, hi. All right, so fabulous. I'll count you down three, two, one, okay. and you your speech, okay? Mm -hmm. right. In three, two, one. Hello, everybody. My name is Wajiha Binti Ahmad Takudin from Malaysia. Today's theme is Popcorn and Chill, where we talk about my favorite movie. Oh, well, you know, my favorite movie is Studio Ghibli's My Neighbor Totoro. I don't know why I love it, but I still love it, though. Okay, so my favorite character from the movie is me, the little girl. I like how she just happily flop her feely. And I like, I like the part where she met the Tobo in the jungle. I also like the part where she danced around the garden with Totoro and her sister. It's just a dream, but I, like, I really like that part. But, well, to sum that up, that is that is why I really, really love my neighbor Totobo. Thank you for listening to me. Have a good day and bye. Rajiha out. All right. I love that ending. That was cool. All right. Thank you very much, Rajiha, for that speech. Now, I have a few questions. Um, I would like to ask you, what's the moral value that you've learned from the movie? I've learned that even though if somebody doesn't believe what you say, you should believe in it. Believe in yourself is the best way to live. All right, that's wonderful. And uh, now, a few more questions I would like to ask. Hmm, with your classes that you've gone for with Ebride, what did you learn from them? I learned to speak more confidently than I used to be. Because that said, I will see that I, he doesn't talk that much. Mm -hmm. And a... I learned that public speaking isn't actually that scary like I thought it would be. That, that's amazing. Okay, there is a little bit of lag. So let's finish it off quickly by asking you, what's your favorite part of your classes? Um, my favorite part is where I can see everybody here, talk to them, and make wonderful memories. That's wonderful. Together. Thank, thank you so much, Wajiha, for that wonderful little answer. Now, we'll move on to the next person, all right? So thank you very much. So the next person I would like to invite onto the stage is Juan. Juan Yusuf, are you there? One, can I get a hi? Yes, I'm here. Okay, fabulous. So I'll count you down three, two, one, and you'll do your speech, all right? All right. In three, two, one. Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And hello, friends. My name is Wanisa. Today, I would like to tell you 
about my favorite film of all time. The title of the film is The Man Who Knew Infinity. It is based on a true story. The director of the film is Matthew Brown. The characters in the film are Snivasanujan, Janaki, uh, Dihish Harti, and, and many more. <clears throat> Let me give you a sh short synopsis of the film. When self taught mathematical genius uh, Raman, Ramanujan Uh, oh, okay. It seems like there's a little bit of technical difficulty. So, um, let's see. All right. Seems like there was a little bit of technical difficulty, but we will continue on to the next contestant. The next person that I would like to invite on stage is Shifa. Hi. Hi. Oh, can you unmute yourself? I thought I already unmuted. Ah, no worries. Well, um, I'll just count you down three, two, one, and you can do your speech, okay? Fabulous. Okay, in three, two, one. Hello there. My name is Shifa Karani Binti Mohammed Hani Thailand, and today I will talk about my favorite movie. I have a lot of mo favorite movies that I have watched, and I have a lot of. And one of them is Matilda. The reason I like this movie is because the movie tells that, <clears throat> that you don't need anyone's support to become a successful person. You can just be a successful person if, even if you are alone. My favorite character in this movie is Masuda. The reason I like this character is because she is a very intelligent and smart girl. One of my favorite scenes in this movie is when she was alone and she was playing with her magic. And it was a very fun scene to watch. I also like the book. Of this of this movie, and I also want to talk. I also that's why I like this movie. I also want to talk about another movie that I like, which is Home Alone. The reason I like this movie is because the movie is a very funny and well made movie. My favorite character in this movie is Kevin. Kevin is a very mean but a very good person in the movie. One of my favorite scenes in this movie is when, hello. One of my favorite scenes in this movie is when they were late to go to the airport and was in a rush. <clears throat> and that's why Homolo and Matilda is my favorite. <laughs> Hello. All right. Thank you so much for that wonderful speech. I'm so sorry, okay? Um, there are a little bit of disruption lately. But Shifa. No, I, I thought it was my internet. Mm -mm, it's, it's okay. You did a great job in your speech. Good job, Shifa. Now, I have a few questions for you. Um, for your favorite movies, let me say it's Matilda. I would like you to tell me what moral story you learned from Matilda. Hmm? Yeah, no. Shifa. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, um, what's what's the moral story you learned from Matilda? Um, the moral of the story of the of this movie Matilda is that we would not have we would not need to have anyone's support to be successful. You just need yourself. All right. Thank you. And it gives me inspiration. Mm. Now, what did you learn for the past few classes of Ebright that you came for? I have learned that I, I have 
to step out of my comfort zone and just <clears throat> and just speak up even in front of crowd. Even when I'm scared, it makes me a lot more comfortable to be around more, a lot more people. Mm -hmm. All right, that's wonderful. And last but not least, what's the best part about our classes together? What's your favorite part? Um, the best part of this class is doing all of the pub, of the all of the speech of everyone. It was a very, it was a very a, a very great part of the class, and <clears throat> I like how pe um we would share our speech to each other. And it will also make me a lot more comfortable to make my speech in front of each other also. That's wonderful. Good job. Well, thank you very much, Shifa, for sharing your inspirational answer. Now let's move on to the next person. All right, the next person I would like to invite on stage is Eugene. Hey, Eugene. Hi. Hi. All right, you seem to be standing a little bit too far. Can you stand uh, a little bit closer? Closer. Just stand a little bit more, okay. a little bit more. You don't have to show your full body, a little bit more. Come on, don't be shy, don't be shy. All right, better, yes, this is good. Okay, so without further ado, I'll just count you down in three, two, one. Thank you, thank you to all my friends. I hope I continue to inspire you every single day. Do not give up to follow your dream because I'm here to show you that anything is possible. Those were the words from Nosh Nef when we won an MTV Movie Award in 2018. Hi, I'm Eugene from Manchester Academy, Indonesia. I'm a fifth grade student. For me, a good movie is something I can enjoy and also has a good message to deliver the audiences. My favorite movie is the Piat movie and its main character is Snoopy. Snoopy was first created by Skulls, which was based on his black and white dog named Spike. Snoopy's first appearance was in 1950. There are a lot of Snoopy figures in my house. Some of these. Snoopy is Charlie Brown's dog and this one Snoopy is on his dog house, which is equipped with a machine. Can you see the small Snoopy? Why do I like the peanut movie? Besides, I love dogs and Snoopy. This movie has some good messages like to find courage and to dream big. Charlie Brown, whose voice was dubbed by non Schnapp, was a lack of confidence boy. Snoopy was his savior who inspired Charlie Brown to be more confident. Snoopy even taught Charlie Brown how to dance. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Have you listened to this movie soundtrack? Its title is Better When I'm Dancing. Sang by Magnum Trainer. It has peppy feel and optimistic messages which will invite the listeners to dance. No doubt, Snoopy is Charlie Brown's best friend. Charlie likes to have his dog sit and listen to him. Even though Snoopy always falls asleep before he finishes talking. A movie ends mostly in a happy ending. The good character wins or get what he wants. Whatever in a movie, please keep in mind that it's only a movie, an imagination. Take the positive point and forget the negative ones. Last but not least, I would like to thank you, Ibrai, for making my public speaking better than before. I really enjoyed the four sessions with Mr. Tommy Leong, and I wish you all have a great future. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Eugene. That was a really good speech. Now, Eugene, all right. I would like to ask you a few questions. All right. So what's your favorite part of um, your favorite movie? 
Wait. When when Charlie Brown when Charlie Brown playing a kite, then suddenly the kite was stuck into the tree. Then the tree eat Charlie Brown's kite. Wow! Oh, that was that was fun. Okay, now um, what about what did you learn for the past few classes that you came for Ebright? I can improve my speaking better. Better um, content, better body language, and better speaking. That's wonderful. And what's your favorite part about your classes? Um, when the when the students um speech and the games. All right, that's wonderful. All right, thank you so much, Eugene, for sharing. Let's move on to the next person. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you. Now the next person I would like to invite is Claire. Hey, Claire. Hi. Okay, give me a moment. All right. So I would like to invite Claire. Claire, are you all ready and prepped up? Yes, yes? I am. All right. So I'll count you down in three, two. One. Good evening, everyone. My name is Claire Liu Xingfeng, and I come from Malaysia. And today I will be talking about my favorite TV series, which is called Victorious. I may recommend this TV TV series to watch with your family members because it is a comedy, which is very hilarious to watch with your family. And I will, and I will recommend this for everyone because the during this MCO for Malaysia. You can actually watch this to fulfill your time. The TV series that uh, I am mentioning, which is Victorious, is very hilarious. So, and it includes many special characters and a special celebrity. My favorite characters in the in those TV series, Victorious, is is Tori Vega, and Jade West. I like it a lot because it's very funny and very entertaining. It has many songs, and it contains many interesting parts. Example: There is a part where Tori Vega sang a song for her sister because it was her sister's birthday, and she did not have a gift to present to her. And um, another example is that Jade West and her friends. Got stuck in a van which did not have any air conditioning nor any water, but it was very hilarious because she actually started sweating for the first time because she never sweated in her life. Well, never before. Those those parts um, are amazing and very exaggerated because it's a comedy, and Tori Vega and Jade West are the main usually the main characters. And this show is very nice to watch with your family members or friends. And since I am done with my speech, I will pass this down to the next person, and I will end my time here. Thank you, everyone. All right, thank you so much, Claire. All right, so I would like to ask you a few questions. So, what would you say is the moral value that you would learn from Victorious? Uh, I would say it's being proud and confident because there are parts which uh, show that you need to have confidence. Yes. All right. And now, um, for the past few classes that you came for with Ebright, um, what did you learn from us? I learned that you don't have to be worried nor nervous before speaking in front of everyone or on a stage. You just need to be confident and believe that you can actually do it. Yes, and plus it's fun, right? With public speaking. Yes, yes, it is. And now, what's your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part is getting to know everyone and a few games. All right, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Claire, for that wonderful speech. Now Thank we'll you. move. We'll move on to the next person. Um, the next person that I would love to invite is Naila. Naila, are you there? Hi, Nayla. Hi, Nayla. 
Finally, I can see you. Okay, so Nayla, I'm just gonna count you down three, two, one, and then you'll do your speech, all right? Okay. Fabulous, in three, two, one. Hi, my name is Nayla. I am 12 years old. Today, I want to talk about my speech. I want to talk about my favorite film. My favorite film is Harry Potter. Anyone knows Harry Potter? Harry Potter is a very famous one only because of his scar on his head. He got it because of Voldemort. Voldemort is a very strong evil wizard. He has a group of followers named Death Eater. My favorite part, part in all of Harry Potter of, in all of the Harry Potter series is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I love that story because it tells the story of a prisoner named Sirius Black, who is actually accused of being Voldemort's strongest leader. Actually, it's a, it is a fake thing. Sirius is actually Harry's godfather. The fake message about Sirius has spread to Daily Prophet. Due to the fake message, Sirius immediately that Sirius immediately transformed into fast food and escaped the Azkaban. The news of Sirius running away scared people. The Minister of Magic sent the mentors around the whole to keep the school safe. However, Sirius is, was still able to get into the Hogwarts and taunts the portrait of the fat lady. The Gryffindor students cannot enter the dormitory, so they had to sleep in the hall. A few days later, Harry, Ron, and Hermione stepped in, into the under into under the whomping wheel. It turned out to be the shaking shot that Ron has been afraid of. It was in the shaking shack that Sirius was found and then Lupin, the new defense against the arts teacher, came into the room and pretended to accuse Sirius who was actually, actually Lupin's friend. Lupin tells them that Peter, the traitor to Sirius, is still alive. This just pretended to be dead by cutting his finger. Apparently, Peter was still in the form of a mouse. So during mm -hmm. this time, Ron, Ron kept Peter, not Scabbers. Sirius immediately pulled Scabbers or Peter from Ron's hand. Then from Lupin's one, pointed at Peter, and finally Peter was shown to Harry, Ron, and Hermione. At, at first they were shocked all this time Peter had lied to them. Harry said Peter not to be taken to the prison, but rather to be brought to the castle for evidence. But the plan failed because Lupin turned it over with and Peter could, could escape again. All right. Oh, okay, Nayla. That was a lot. All right, Nayla. <laughs> <laughs> Snape tells that Lupin is a werewolf because Snape spread the news. Lupin immediately defends himself right, from Hogwarts. Well, yeah, I'm going to stop you there, Nayla. That was good. That was very in detail, but I'm going to stop you there, okay? But Nayla, I have a few questions for you. So with all of your favorite series from Harry Potter, um, I know your favorite is The Prison of Azkaban. So can I ask, um, Actually, what Hogwarts house would you be in? Gryffindor. Gryffindor? Why would that be? I want to learn to be black Ah, I see. Okay. So what did you learn from all the classes that you've came for? From uh, what did you learn from E Bright? Mm, I have so much to learn, like. Mm -hmm. And it, Anything? Yeah, everything. I learned everything. That's amazing. And what's your favorite part? Listening to all of the classes speech. That's wonderful. All right. Thank you, Nayla. I'm going to stop you there. I'm so sorry um, to cut you short, but we're going to move on to the next person. All right. All right, Nayla. Thank you so much. And let's invite our last person coming into our recorded mini showcase mariam hey hey queen hey hello are you excited yes fabulous then i'll count you down in three two one hello everyone my name is mariam and today i am going to talk about an amazing movie called the secret annex oh but of course it's no longer a secret everyone knows about it now this movie is about a young German Jewish girl named Anne Frank, a girl who had to go into hiding from the Nazis during World War II. The main character is also my favorite character, Anne Frank. Anne was a very passionate and cheerful girl. She was also very ambitious. When she was in the hardest time, the only thing that would feed her mind was writing in her diary. And when she wrote, she, she would feel like she could express her feelings freely without anyone arguing with her. 
the reason why I look up and like her a lot is because I think that we may have a thing or two in common. I had a diary already before I knew about Anne Frank. So I do think that we could relate to like writing. And also I do not want to be someone who has to follow my friend's footsteps to someone who has to write and work all the time or someone who has to stay home and not have such an interesting life. For example, Anne Frank wanted to a different life than her mother. She wanted to be an independent girl and she wanted to, and what amazed me the most about her is when, when she was living a life that no 15 year old would like, she, when she wrote, it made it sound like she was living a, the best life. This movie is also inspired me to be an actress as the, ac the actors on those movies acted like it was actually happening or it was just a plot. That's it from me. And I hope that you'll be just as inspired as I am. I recommend you to watch this movie as you will also learn about history. Thank you for listening to me. All right, that was great. Thank you so much, Mary Ann. Now, Mary Ann, I have a few questions for you. Um, I would say, what can you take away from the, your favorite movie that you've learned? The moral values, I would say. Is that maybe just because you're different doesn't mean that your life would be the worst and just to never give up. That's amazing. That's great. Now, what um, I would also like to ask, what did you learn from your classes with eBright? I learned to speak more confidently. That's wonderful. And last but not least, I would like to ask, um, what's your favorite part of eBright classes? I like the games a lot. The game. And I have to move around, which I don't really do. <laughs> well, that's amazing. Perfect. Thank you so much, Maryam. And uh, thank you so much. Well, that is it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. You know what? Click on the next video of eBright. It's called binge watching. Try it out. And if you would like, subscribe to us, ring that notification button, and to get all the notifications if new videos are popping up. Now, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay fabulous.